I've always dreamed about having a boat. Nothing extravagant, just something to spend weekends exploring the Solent and the south coast near where I live. One of my patients is in the boat business. I've chatted to him over the years about what sort of boat I'd like. The last time we met, he looked me up and down and said, don't leave it too long. Oof, I thought of him the other day when I was looking at some research studies about ageing. It's a pain, isn't it? How is it that some people seem to defy the ageing process and stay fit, healthy and strong for so long? I went to a concert the other night to see the legendary Dutch band from the 70s called Focus. Many of you might remember them. As you might imagine, the venue was full of mostly men of a certain age, a bit like me. The band members were amazing, particularly the drummer, who must be nearly 80. He played a mad 15-minute solo without missing a beat. I've seen thousands of patients over the years. I'm fascinated about why some people seem to behave and look a lot younger than their years. I've just bought a new piece of equipment that will give a lot more information about how healthy you are. It doesn't need blood tests and it will help me to help you make better decisions about the right treatment for you. If you're thinking about hip resurfacing and you've been told that you may be too old for this, this could be a game changer. I will make a video about this next month. Aging is a complex process that involves changes in nearly every system in our bodies. These changes don't happen at a steady pace. A recent research paper from Stanford University in California looked at a large cohort of people and measured thousands of different molecular markers of age. I won't go into the specific details, but I'll leave a link to this below. The study followed 108 people aged 25 to 75 over several years. It found that significant molecular shifts occur around the ages of 44 and 60. These shifts are linked to immune regulation, metabolism and cardiovascular health. At around 44, 45, there are changes in cardiovascular function, lipid, that's fat metabolism, and how our bodies handle alcohol. Then, as we hit our 60s, we see disruptions in immune function and carbohydrate metabolism. These shifts can increase the risks of diseases and accelerate the aging processes. We've all seen and felt this, haven't we? Some people just seem to fall apart in middle age, whilst others just sail through it. If you're middle aged and struggling with hip arthritis, these findings are particularly relevant. If you're in pain, you don't sleep well, you don't take appropriate exercise and you fill yourself up with painkillers and anti-inflammatories. Your weight goes up and often this is followed by increase in blood pressure. Life just gets more difficult. All of these things increase the risk of developing age-related diseases and make the outcome of surgery worse. So there's a lot to be said for just getting on with surgery so that you can start to take steps to get fitter and stronger. Obviously, you need to weigh up all of the risks and benefits of surgery. My job is to guide you through this process and discuss all the options with you. I know that many of you are struggling to get the health care that you need. I really do share your frustration. So if you or someone you know is living with hip arthritis, now might be the time seriously to consider having surgery. The recent research shows us that ageing isn't just about getting older. It's about how our bodies change at specific stages of life. By acting before these changes become a significant problem, you can improve your chances of successful surgery and a healthier, more active life. I'll come back to this again in more videos because to me, it's really, really important. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to get in touch, the details are in the description. Remember, your health is your wealth. Take care of it. See you all again next time.